Police are vowing to file charges against members of a New York church accused of trespassing at a local cemetery. Tonight, the other violations police say were committed. Good evening to you at 6 o'clock. I'm Ship Scarborough. Well, the owner of a Meridian Cemetery has already said he plans to pursue charges against members of New York's Satanic Temple. And now police are investigating the unusual ritual that was performed there and preparing to make arrests. Candace Barnett has more on where the investigation stands now. We brought you the story of the Satanic Temple's trip to a Meridian Cemetery that's gaining national attention. Now the cemetery owner is looking to press charges and the police are preparing to make an arrest. Meridian police have reached out and spoken to Mr. Arling House of Magnolia Cemetery. Uh, we are in the process now of constructing affidavits and warrants against these individuals and we will have them arrested as soon as we can. A group from New York Satanic Temple made the trip to Meridian to protest the Westboro Baptist Church. You can see from pictures on their website there they performed a ritual they call Pink Mass on the grave of Katherine Johnston, the mother of Westboro founder Fred Phelps Jr. The ceremony involved two same-sex couples kissing over her grave. They then declared Katherine Johnston a lesbian in the afterlife. It is an unusual crime that we haven't come across to my knowledge in a while. Not only does it violate a state and city ordinance, but it also violates the moral decency of a human being. The Satanic Temple claims their actions are instead meant to convey a message of love in the face of hate, celebrating gay love, since the Westboro Baptist Church has become famous for its intolerance of homosexuals. The Satanic Temple encourages others to hold their own pink masses in the cemetery, but the owner says he'll be on the lookout. They are not welcome to perform disrespectful ceremonies. I don't want to give them overly too much attention because that's really what they're trying to see. And the Satanic Temple admits attention is what they're after. They hope their actions will draw attention to the organization's efforts to raise money to participate in New York City's Adopt a Highway program. We will keep the highway clear of litter and debris. We ask for your help in contributing to the Satanic Temple's efforts. Captain Harper says the MPD has plenty of evidence to arrest these individuals. They'll be looking at charges for trespassing, indecent exposure, and malicious mischief at a minimum. Candace Barnett, News Center 11. Now, the Satanic Temple has currently raised just over $1,000 of its $15,000 goal for the Adopt a Highway program. Now, when we first started getting press, we had done a, a pink, what we call the pink mass in, uh, <laughs> in Mississippi. And what we had done was it was a counter protest against the Westboro Baptist Church. And um, we had done one event before that where we actually uh, came out on the side of Rick Scott in Florida, passing a bill that allowed for prayer in school, really because we thought he didn't want Satanist endorsement. We're playing around a little bit then. <laughs> but with the pink mask, they came to Boston um, during the marathon, or they, they threatened to come to Boston during the marathon bombing to protest the uh, funerals of the victims. And then we thought we should respond in kind somehow. They never showed up. They said they were there in spirit, so we wanted to find a way to be with them in spirit. So we looked up where Fred Phelps' mother was buried. We went there and we held a homoerotic, uh, satanic ritual at the grave site, which uh, ultimately um, ended with me in that pose you see now. <laughs> and um, we, when I was talking to the press, I would tell them this kind of nuanced position we had, that uh, we didn't believe in the supernatural, but our belief was that due to their beliefs, they were obligated to believe that his mother was now gay in the afterlife. <laughs> and because our beliefs were inviolable, they could say what they want, but we were free to believe that they believe that she's gay in the afterlife. There's nothing, there's nothing they can say about it. 
and with that, we were really playing with uh, the Westboro Baptist Church's own notions that they were kind of putting forward. They, they went all the way to the Supreme Court to defend their, their right to be the pricks they are. And um, they, they were basically arguing that belief is inviolable, and we were putting forward that our beliefs about your beliefs are inviolable. The Westboro Baptist Church may have met its match when it comes to bizarre public demonstrations. A group of devil worshipers giving them a run for their money. And this you have to see to believe. A cemetery in Mississippi, members of a satanic cult performing a ritual over the grave of Westboro founder Fred Phelps' mother. Two guys kissing over the headstone, hoping to turn Phelps' dead mother gay. They say the so-called pink mass ritual is in retaliation for Westboro's attempt to protest at the funerals of the Boston bombing victims. Against the new after-school Satan Club that was recently approved there by the Park Row School District. Tim Becker is outside the school. He joins us live with more. Tim. I want to give you a look at the gathering here over my shoulder. The bagpipes have just started playing once again. This is all happening because the newly formed After School Satan Club is holding an open house to tell parents about their new program today. It just happens to be on the same day that another religious group, the Good News Club, is holding its open house. The Satanic Temple says it's providing the uh, After School Club because uh, the Good News Club, an evangelical Bible study group, has actually been around now for several years. The co-founder of the Satanic Temple tells me that if the evangelical group was here, they wouldn't be here either. We feel that evangelical clubs coming in and proselytizing to children, trying to get other children to convert to uh, their fundamentalist way of thinking creates a need for us to be here with something that presents uh, scientific rationalism in, uh, in, uh, uh, by being put forward by a different religious group. They want to balance with Satan? Well, we think people are very much, and we know they are, very much uh, afraid of Satan and Satanism, what it represents, regardless of the comical little drawings they make of it, what Satanism is. So we're here to support them in that and keep, keep Satan out of our schools. Well, backers of both groups are here right now. People supporting the Bible group, as you see live, spending time here singing, praying, and now they're taking a slow walk. Looks like they'll probably go around the block. The Satanic Temple members, meantime, saying their after-school program does not contain any items of religious opinion. Uh, in case you're wondering, students do need a note from parents to attend either after-school club. Live in Northeast Portland, Tim Becker, Coin 6 News. Quite the debate. Thanks, Tim. You're watching Coin 6 News, watching out for you. And coming up next, Twitter says it is cracking down on hate speech, and now 